Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to try to make this as easy as possible, as simple as possible, showing Power Director 16 Ultimate. I'm going to simply do my best to show you motion tracking and adding a title. It's not perfect, or neither am I. Down here, I open up the 360 editor, and I do apologize if certain things struggle as I'm using Cyberlink screen recorder that came with the software. Allow it to open up while I have another program right here that is not running. So this kind of delays everything in the CPU just a little bit. You can see I have Action Director right here. Anyway, we're opened up. So we got a little hesitation and lag. I'm running an Acer R15 i7 16 gig off of, I guess, uh, a hard drive 7200. I can't remember. If it's too slow, I do apologize. So as the program opens up, I can always see this video screen as I just called it a video screen. I could click it. I simply close it out. I don't like seeing the library like this. So let me wait till everything catches up. Click on this nine grid and empty my library. Let me import a media file only. Allow it to open up. Click it again. That hesitation of the jump is what I get with this machine all the time. Let me go into my pictures. Let me go into this video. Let me go into my walk. Let me uh, simply find Just take this one, for example. So almost open. This is at the Everglades. Let's put this in 3D. Let this open up in 3D. So while that's trying to open up in 3D, I don't have to click this, the viewer mode. But there it is. There I am. For example, and I won't be able to show the demonstration of this, but I'm able to walk you through it. You click on Tools. Locate down below the third line, Motion Tracker. Click on it. It opens up a new sub window. It opens up this square window. I find the closer you are, the harder it is to work. It always goes on the opposite side of the area. I need to drag it. You can see how it's dragging around. I'm trying to find myself. So say I want to track myself. All you got to do is highlight my face. You can see how the window starts to shrink. I'm in here. Make sure that X, that plus, is dead center. If I had a hand, I could track the hand. I would shrink this down. I don't come over here to the text, but you read the steps. Drag the election box to the mark, the object you want to track. 
click the track button, which is right here. When I click this, this is going to start to track. You see it's highlighted in yellow. It's following me. Let's stop it. Now I click on the T. I type in person. When I do this, it defaults at 36 font. And that is too big if asked. They should have made that a lot smaller. So I simply open up, scroll down, and change it to 14 or whatever size I want. So now when I move, that title that be here in blue will start to follow that track. Say I didn't want a title. I take the title, I drag it in. I make this box as big as that. I go over here to the image, picture in picture. I open it up. Are you sure you want to remove this attached object? I now import a picture from my hard drive. I simply take this picture. I drag it in. And that picture can be over the area. And I can adjust it. And so forth. I can also go ahead and most likely blur it out if I figure out how to do that at a later time. If I want to do a media, I also go into the room. If I want an overlay, I can simply add an overlay. So these are the things I can do in the program. And when you finish, you kind of see the little line there. And that was the immediate thing I've done. I could double click it, reopen it up, and work on the project once again. I could drag it, I could make it bigger, I could stretch it out, I could ease it in, so forth, manually. I can maintain the aspect ratio. I can ease it in, all these other things, and I can blend it. So I hope this small demonstration is not a tutorial of using motion track, motion tracker, located right here. You have to click on the video, click on Motion Tracker. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for stopping by.